Hello and welcome to Jep's Outdoor Adventures. I'm your host Jep. In today's video we are going to be doing another camo test. It's been a little while actually, about a year, and I figured it would be time for another video. Now we're in a completely different location. We're actually back at Winchester Lake here in Winchester, Idaho. I've been trying to do some fishing with the canoe that we rented, but uh, uh, the wind has been kicking up off and on, blowing me around everywhere. It's been a little bit of a pain. Um, not bad, just annoying. Uh, last time I used one of these, I had a friend with me, and so we would take breaks. One of us would paddle, the other one would be eating or casting or whatever, and it was a lot easier doing that. Um, this time around, I, I have to do all the paddling, and it's a little bit annoying. So I figured I'd take a break, do the camo test now. It's about 121. Uh, we are in a really neat little spot here. And uh, I figured we uh, could test out some camos. We're going to be testing out True Timber, Real Tree, uh, Mossy Oak. We have Carolina Outdoors, which is going to be the next one, or actually the first one I should say that we're going to do. Um, we have uh, all sorts of different patterns, actually. So uh, we're going to see how well this does. Um, this is how the train looks. So, you know, it's not too remote of a place, but this is a pretty familiar scenery to anyone who lives in Idaho. So, yeah, without any further ado, let's get started. Here we go.
guys so to conclude the video here uh, I think the multicam did the absolute best with the true timber coming in and probably a close second there um, some of the camo patterns like the Huntworth Tarnan the lightweight shirt that is uh, look really good the Huntworth Tarnan winter camo uh, looks really great too um, the canvas one is just super green and I didn't realize that when I bought it in the store um, be aware if you buy their clothing, anything that's canvas is different in color from the other uh, clothing um, that they sell. So it doesn't blend in together. Now that's not a bad thing because you can use that to kind of disrupt your pattern. Wearing different camo patterns can be a good thing, but it is a little annoying if you didn't know that already. So be aware. The Carolina Outdoors looks great. It doesn't quite blend in as well as some of the other camos, but uh, it does kind of break up your pattern well. Same with the Mossy Oak Terra Coyote and Mossy Oak um, uh, Contour there on the Eberlestock, Eberlestock, yeah, Eberlestock uh, backpack I have. Just finished recording that. Uh, I like that backpack, by the way. It's not perfect, but I like it. Uh, for what it is, it's pretty nice. But uh, that camo, Mossy Oak, does not promote the contour camo for some reason. So whatever reason that is, I don't know. But it looks good. It blends in well. The Terra Coyote does a pretty good job, too. Uh, it doesn't blend in as well here as I would like, personally. But that's this time of year. The clothing is for mid-season, so I would not be wearing it here in summer. I wanted to bring out some other camos as well, but I just did not have enough room. All the camo I brought with fits into that day pack. So that was kind of the restriction, especially being on a canoe. I did not want to bring too much. As it is, that weighs quite a bit. So, oh well. If you guys like this video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. If I get another opportunity, I may come back out and do some more uh, camo tests. So let me know if this is something you'd like. These videos do not get a lot of views. So please feel free to share this video with anyone you'd, you would uh, uh, care to if you think they'd like this. Or share it to your Facebook page, that sort of thing. Um, it didn't go quite the way I expected it to. Um, I need to make some adjustments to the way I tested out the camo. I did not want to put on some of these colder uh, weather clothes when it's hot out like it is now. So I uh, hung it up there uh, along a guideline. And I think it worked pretty well, but there's some things I think I could do a little bit better. Uh, if there's anything you can think of, please let me know. Please like, share, and subscribe like I said before. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>